Communication Workers of America, Occupy Atlanta, and Jobs with Justice stand up against the loss of 740 jobs in Southeast and stand up for middle class workers throughout the region. At this time when one out of every five workers are unemployed or underemployed, we expect American business to do its part to keep the economy on track rather than continuing to benefit from tax breaks and corporate welfare while ordinary Americans face hardships with no end in sight. As we occupy outside, 12 have been arrested on the inside that refused to leave until AT&T rescinded the 720 layoffs that they reported. The CEO of AT&T reported last year making $27 million, while 740 individuals are at risk of losing their income and their family's livelihood. Today with us standing is CWA. We have the president of Local 3204, Walter Andrews. We have the executive vice president, at Barthlow. We have Ernest Talley with CWA. And from Teamsters, we have Eric Robertson. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you say and spell your name real quick? Yes. Lady Mansfield, L-A-D-I-E, Mansfield, M-A-N-S-F-I-E-L-D. And are you with uh, Occupy Atlanta. Thank you. Chris. Chris. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Just Media committee, just occupy Atlanta. That's it. You want to speak? Okay. Thank you. Thank everyone for coming out today. My name is Walter D. Andrews. I'm the president of CWA Local 3204 here in Atlanta. I'd like today to thank Occupy Atlanta and Job with Justice for standing up for working people. We will be back tomorrow in the same spot with CWA, the community, church activists, politicians, and everybody else trying to reinforce what the 13 did this morning that got locked up saying, hey, AT&T, we're sending a layoff. People need to work in this day and time. We made a record profit, and there's no need to put the people in the street. Thank you. Walter DeAndrews. My name is Ed Barlow. Not only am I a service technician with the union, but I'm an American. I'm a person that needs my job. My job is effective. When they say 740, they're talking about me and my coworkers. I watched over the years as my co-workers get laid off, their families affected, their communities, homes, homes being foreclosed. I don't want to be in that situation. When my CEO announced that he made $27 million last year and that the company made record profits, why should my job be in jeopardy? I want to work, and so that's why I'm here today to support Occupy Jobs for Justice. And tomorrow, Communication Workers of America will be here putting on a rally, and we hope that the public and the community will come out and support us. That's going to be Valentine's Day from 11 to 2 p.m. Thank you. My name is Ernest Talley. I'm with CWA, Local 3204. And today is a monumental day in which labor has banded together. We have CWA, we have Teams Thirst, we have Jobs for Justice, and we have Occupy Atlanta, all coming together to say enough is enough. The era of corporate greed has got to end. We had a T-Mobile deal to go belly up, and now they're trying to take our jobs to pay for their era. We say no, corporate greed has to end, and today is the day that we start to fight the battle. AT&T, their corporate folks have responded to us. They say that the layoffs are a result of the shifting uh, nature of their business and that they've hired 2,600 <laughs> technicians within the last six months. What do you say to that? Okay, they hired 2,600 technicians, 1,700 of uh, what's called Prim Tech. The take this young man plays as an HT with half the salary, no benefits, no pension. They had to pay for the health care. The other part is they're saying that the wild line is going dead here in the, in the metropolitan area, but we said that's still enough work. They've already merged. They've got wireless people selling wireline products, okay? They're merging them together. The work is still there, but they just greedy, and this non-represented entity is where they're trying to force the work to. So you don't buy it? You don't no, buy no, 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 not at all. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh -huh. My name is Eric Robertson. I'm the political director for Teamsters Local 728. We represent 7,000 members in the state of Georgia. 
We're here to support our brothers and sisters with the Communication Workers of America and in solidarity with Occupy Atlanta to draw the line in the sand against the destruction of good paying jobs here yeah. in Georgia. The American people, people in Georgia, and our membership are here to say that we are tired of corporate America trying to force the good working people of this state and this country to bear the burden of the economic crisis created by the big banks and the CEOs of this country that have run the economy into the ground. We're saying no more, and today the line gets drawn in the sand. Thank you.